Okay, Leonardo, let's go to this class. Uh, it took how to find given two points, P and Q. These are the two points, the P and the Q. And there is a generic point here that I will call the point X. It is a generic point X. Okay, given the two point P or Q, what is the equation of the rectilinear lines that pass through P and Q? First of all, through P and Q, there is only one line, uh, no doubt of this. In the geometry, fix only one line, so there is only one equation for the line that passes through two points. Two, three points is different. If you want to find the line that goes to three points, the point have to be on the direction of the line. Otherwise, if the point is here, there is no one line passing through P, Q, and X. So the X is in the direction of P, Q. So how we are going to find this equation, the equation of a rectilinear line in three dimensions? The first step is find P, Q. How we will find P, Q? This is important because you have a mistake in P, Q. P, Q is obtained like this. You see O, P, O, P, O, K. You see OQ, OQ, this is the vector OQ. So PQ, this is OP, this is OP, this is OQ, this is the vector OQ, this is the vector OP, and this is the vector, this vector is the vector PQ, PQ. What is the equation that I can write here? The equation that I can write here is that OP plus PQ is equal OQ. Oh, from here I can find PQ. PQ is nothing else. If I solve from PQ, is OQ minus OQ minus OP. So the first step is to find OQ minus OP. Given P and Q, OQ is easy to find, OP is easy to find, and the subtraction is easy to find. So the first step, we will do an example later, PQ is OQ minus OP. The second step is important to find a unitary vector in the direction of PQ. What is a unitary vector in the direction of PQ? The direction of PQ is this direction, this direction, following the line, and it's a vector, but probably it doesn't have a unitary magnitude. So we need to find this vector, the vector, this small vector, the vector that goes in the direction of PQ, but is a unitary vector. The magnitude of this vector is 1. Mm. And how we will find a unitary vector? A unitary vector is obtained by finding PQ and divide by the magnitude of PQ. Okay, this is the second step. Why a unitary vector is obtained by PQ divided by the magnitude of PQ? Because from this equation you have to realize that PQ, the vector that goes from P to Q, PQ, is his magnitude, the magnitude, in the direction of PQ, U in the direction of PQ. In, in some way, this is P, this is Q, this is the unitary vector U, magnitude 1, and maybe if you put five times U, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5, let's say U, the equation will say that PQ is five times U. You see, five times U is PQ. So U is PQ. U is PQ divided by his magnitude, five. This is five. Oh, so if this uh, magnitude is 10, what well, it would be? The vector PQ divided by his magnitude, 10. So, because PQ is 5 times U. 
So the second step is to find the unitary vector. The second, the third step and the final step is to realize this picture. This is the picture. The picture that fixes the equation of the rectilinear line is this one. OP is here. OQ is here. OX, any generic point through the line, is this one. So this is OX. Do you realize that OP, OP plus lambda or t times u, you can arrive to OX? Do you realize that OP plus 5 times u, 1, 2, 3, 4, and let's say 5, and you arrive to the point x. OP plus 5 times u is OX, is the vector OX. So this is the equation of the line. The equation of the line is OP plus 5 times plus whatever, t times u, t times u, equal to OX, because we don't know where is the X. The X is a generic point. So the equation that we are going to apply is OP plus T times U equal OX. Let's go to, to do an example. OP, the vector OP, plus T times the vector U is OX. Let's say that P is 1, 2, 3. And Q is 4, 5, 6. Who is OP? OP is the vector that goes from O to Q. Is 1i plus 2j plus 3k. Who is OQ? OQ is the vector that goes from O to Q. Is 4i plus 5j plus 6k. Perfect. Who is PQ? PQ is the vector that goes from P to Q. But the vector that goes from P to Q is OQ minus OP. Oh, so it's OQ, 4i plus 5j plus 6k minus 1i plus 2j plus 3k. And how you will subtract two vectors? Components by component. 4 minus 1, 3i plus 4j. 5 minus 2 is 3. Oh, 3. 3j. 3j. Minus, plus 3k. 6 minus 3 is 3k. So the vector PQ is the vector 3i plus 3j plus 3k. And what is the unitary vector? The vector that is in the direction of PQ but has magnitude 1. You take PQ and you divide by the magnitude of PQ. Oh, PQ is 3i plus 3j plus 3k. And what is the magnitude of PQ? It's the square root of 3 squared plus 3 squared plus 3 squared. And what is this vector? It's not the vector i plus j plus k. It's the vector 3 divided by the square root. 3 squared is 9, 9, 9. 9, 3, 9, 27. 27, a square root of 27. 3 divided by square root of 27, i, plus 3 divided by square root of 27, j, plus 3 divided by square root of 27k. Is this a unitary vector? Is this half a magnitude 1? Oh, oh, what is the magnitude of this vector? What is the magnitude of this vector? Is 3 squared divided by 27 plus 3 squared divided by 27 plus 3 squared by 27? The magnitude of this vector is 1. Check it. For sure is 1, okay, because 3 squared is 9. Let's go to do it. It will be 
What is the magnitude of u? Should be 1. Uh -huh. Okay, then what is the magnitude? It's 9 divided by square root of 27, which is 27, plus 9 divided by square root of 27, the second component squared, plus 9 divided by square root of 27, 9 divided by 27, now it's 3 times 9 divided by 27, which is 1. Okay, so I have the magnitude. Now let's go to find the equation of the rectilinear line. I have u. U is this expression, U. This is U. And the, the equation of a rectilinear line is here. Here is the equation of a rectilinear line. OP plus T times U equal OX. Okay. OP plus T times U equal OX. Okay. Who is OP? OP is here. OP is 1i plus 2j plus 3k. 1i plus 2j plus 3k plus t times u. t times u. Who is u? u is 3 divided by square root of 27i plus, and putting common factor, 3 divided by square root of 27j plus 3 divided by square root of 27k. Okay, this is equal ox. And what is the vector ox? The vector ox is the vector that goes from the origin to any point x on the rectilinear line. So it's the vector xi plus yj plus theta k. So when two vectors are equal, when the components are equal. So let's go to sum the i component with the i component. 1 plus t times 3 divided by square root of 27. i plus 2 plus 3 times a square root of 27. j plus 3 plus 3 times the square root of 27k t times t times t times equal xi plus y j plus theta k mm -hmm. so when two vectors are equal when the components are equal the x have to be equal to this. So x of t is 1 plus 3 times the square root of 27t. Mm. Or x minus 1, x minus 1 divided by 3 the square root of 27 equal t. Is the same equation. What is the second equation? The second equation is that the j components is equal y. So two times two times two plus t times three divided by square root of twenty seven equal y. So y minus 2 y minus 2 divided by 3 divided by square root of 27 equal t oh this is the second equation and the third equation is like this so as a result this is the important equation this one this one is the one that defines the rectilinear line o p plus t times u, let's say 10.5 u, Ooh, you will arrive to x. If the x is far away, let's say 20 times, well, o, p, plus 20 times t can take 20 times u, you will arrive to o, x, x, you will be farther. If t is negative, let's say minus 1, it will say, OP 
minus one u. Oh, this is u minus one u. You go to this direction, it will be a new point. Minus two u, you will go further in the line right. Plus minus three u. Plus minus three u will be like this. U is this one. U is this one. Yeah, minus three u will be minus one u minus 2u, minus 3u, so the vector will be Ox, the new x. This x occur when t equal minus 3. Okay, you catch it, the idea? Oh, I, I have been very long. <laughs> okay, try to make, to compact this idea into your video is okay, but I feel that is missing this idea. This equation is missing. Okay? Um, go ahead. It's well done, Leonardo. It's well done.